but we're going to have a great morning. First, I'd like to thank everybody for being here this morning with us at Elizabeth Law Breakfast, um, Isabel Law Breakfast uh, Cancer. Uh, Y'all, we need to thank the committee. Um, all the committee members here, please raise your hand. Really need to thank you for all the hard work that y'all put in for this event. And then, of course, our, our staff, all of our city employees that are on the grill. We got everybody from the police department, from public works, uh, traffic, engineering. Who else? We got sustainability. We got a, even construction management, water. E even Missy Gentry is over there flipping some cakes earlier this morning. Uh, Robert Anderson was in charge of the liver mush, so if you got complaints, talk to him, please. But this is a great event, and, and you know, this is Isabel Law Breakfast, and it's dedicated to her. Um, you know, she died it's been over 16 years ago that she passed away. We're very fortunate to have her daughters here today as well, who also will be speaking. Tamara and Monica, thank y'all for being here. She was an incredible advocate for people in general, but especially people who are battling breast cancer. She not only worked through her church at Central Baptist, but was in, an integral part of not only this breakfast, but getting the word out and awareness about breast cancer and how important it is to make sure that you're getting your mammogram, that you're doing everything you can to fight breast cancer and taking those extra. Um, while, you know, we've made a lot of advancements over the years, we're not there yet. Um, we still have more breast cancer deaths than over the time that we want. Um, I think uh, the stats that I, I've gotten today is that in the United States, breast, breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed for over 310,000 women and 2,800 men just this past year alone. Folks, we're here today not only to celebrate this law and, and her dedication, but to bring awareness, but also all the proceeds, all you folks who are buying tickets today are gonna to help us invest in the most innovative 3D mammogram unit for Prisma Health that will be located at the Baptist Park Ridge campus. Y'all, everything that we can do to advance tech, being able to detect breast cancer, we have an opportunity to provide that person an opportunity to beat that cancer. Uh, my mother-in-law, uh, God bless her soul, passed away from breast cancer. My sister-in-law is a breast cancer survivor. All of us have had someone in our families, friends, our office circle, our church circle, who are either survivors, fighters, or have lost the battle to breast cancer. So I hope today that we'll continue to support breast cancer, not just in the month of October, but year round and know that this community is dedicated to fight and bring awareness across all corners of our community. At this time, I would like to uh, ask Jeff Wall, the Executive Director of Prisma Health Midlands Foundation to join us up front. Oh, we got Ann's joining us. Ann's filling in for Jeff. Ann, it's so good to see you this morning. Um, we are thrilled to be here. Um, I'm Anna Saunders with Prisma Health Midlands Foundation. And just another round of applause for the mayor and this awesome team over here. I have been mesmerized by the team on the griddle. They are still working so hard getting those pancakes ready. So if you haven't been through the line, better hustle. Um, I wanted to just make a few remarks on behalf of our foundation. Um, we are uh, so grateful that the City of Columbia continues to step up and lead the way in the fight against breast cancer. They are one of our leading um, supporters for the Walk for Life and famously Hot Pink Half Marathon and 5K that will be held tomorrow. If you haven't registered, um, there's still time. And this time tomorrow, you will be crossing the finish line with us as we raise funds and awareness for Prisma Health Breast Center. Um, this event today and tomorrow means so much to us. It's for um, those that we remember, like Isabel Law. Isabel was the first uh, breast cancer nurse navigator at Palmetto Health, which is now Prisma Health. Uh, she worked just a couple blocks away at 
uh, Baptist Hospital. She was often the first person that um, breast cancer patients saw when they woke up from surgery. She would be there waiting to provide comfort and education and items they needed as they recovered. Um, and Prisma Health continues in that uh, legacy by expanding our nurse navigator program and taking great care of women in our community. And we're here for breast cancer survivors and those um, like Sidora who are in the fight now, and that's part of why we do what we do. So thank you again, and I'm delighted to, um, it's good to be here with the Law family today. Thank you, thank you, Anna, for being here. Now could I ask the Law family to come up? Who, you going to speak today? Yeah, yeah, I'll just say something briefly. <laughs> you say all you want. <laughs> uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Tamara Law, um, Isabel Law, um, my late mother. Um, my sister Monique was una unable to make it uh, this morning, but I want to thank you all for coming out. My mom um, was diagnosed with breast cancer in 82, and I was like six years old at the time, so I really didn't understand what was what she was dealing with until I got older and saw her, you know, work. She started off volunteering, helping women with breast cancer diagnosis, and then she became a nurse navigator at Baptist. And even today, I still have people come up and tell me the impact that my mom had on them. So she lived her life's purpose. She made her impact on this community, and she was at this breakfast every year when it was first established. She was at the breast cancer walk every year, and so she would just be so touched to see everybody out here. And so just thank you all for your support, and um, we just, we're so appreciative to the committee that puts this breakfast together. The ladies that do this, thank you all. Just thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Mayor. Rickman and all of the uh, City of Columbia workers that put this together. Thank y'all. <laughs> if we want to give you a little, oh, little basket. Oh, thank you. Oh. Well, hey, you can, can, I, can I get everybody to do one thing for us? <laughs> I want everybody to look up, point up, and say, thank you, Miss Isabel Law. <laughs> thank, thank you, you Miss Isabel Law. Isabel Law.